In this video, we'll explore the basic concepts behind request routing and how to deal with routing requests both at the web server level as well as in PHP. We'll take a walk through a basic HTTP primer first to get a handle on how these requests are transmitted. We'll look at things like how your browser assembles an HTTP request and how it deals with the HTTP responses from the server. Then we'll explain how to deal with the request at the web server level. We'll discuss the difference between an external redirect and an internal redirect, and how these apply to PHP. Finally, we'll go over the concepts of a front controller in PHP, and how to internally delegate specific parts of your PHP code to deal with different requests once it gets to PHP. In order to gain a better understanding of how to do request routing in PHP, we first need to make sure we have a solid understanding of some basic underlying principles, like the HTTP Pro protocol and how client software like your web browser and server software like your web server such as an Apache HTTP daemon or Nginx deal with HTTP requests and responses. HTTP at least up until version 1.1 is a plain text protocol that both the client and server use to communicate back and forth. The client generates an HTTP request to send to the server, and the server generates an HTTP response to send back to the client. We refer to this as the request response model. Both the HTTP request and HTTP response are comprised of two parts, the header and the body. The header is made up of a request or response line, followed by one or more name value pair header lines. In an HTTP request, the request line is made up of three parts. The HTTP request verb, such as get or post, the request path, and the HTTP version. An HTTP response line is made up of three parts as well. The HTTP version, the HTTP response status code, and the HTTP response status description. Both the HTTP request and response body can contain just about any kind of data, and the format typically varies depending on the request or response type. To get a better idea of how all this comes together in practice, let's take a look at a typical scenario starting from the end user's browser and follow the HTTP request to the server as it makes its way to PHP. At the browser level, the end user first provides a URL to some web page. The host part of this URL is assembled into the host header line of our HTTP request by the browser, and the path part of this URL following the host name is assembled as a part of the request line. By default, our request verb will be get. Anytime you type a URL into your browser's address bar or click on a link on a web page, the default request verb used by the browser is usually get. The request body will be empty. Now the browser has assembled the HTTP request behind the scenes and is ready to ship it off to the server. Once the request gets to our web server, the web server software will use something like a virtual host configuration to determine how to deal with the request. First, it identifies the host by inspecting the host header line of the HTTP request. From this, it can determine which virtual host to delegate the request to. You may only have one virtual host configured in your web server, or you may have multiple virtual hosts listening on the same IP address, but this is how the distinction is made. Once the virtual host file is identified, your web server will look at the path part of the request line to figure out what to do next. In most typical configurations, the web server will just map the path part of the HTTP request to your document root such that whatever file exists in the path from your document root will be served up to the client. However, all modern web servers allow you to perform internal redirects of the request or map the request URI differently based on some hard-coded value or some dynamic rule, like a regular expression, for example. So we can actually tell the web server to just internally redirect all requests to our PHP script. Let's call it index.php. Rather than try to map the request path to a file in our document root, that way we can defer to PHP to decide how to respond to the request, and the web server is no longer responsible for that decision. This can be achieved in both Apache's HTTP daemon as well as Nginx with a rewrite rule. 
we write a regular expression that matches any request URI and asks our web server to internally redirect these requests, matching the rewrite rule, to our index.php script. It's important to note that this redirect only happens internally within our web server and thus is completely transparent to the client. This internal redirect is opposed to an external redirect in which the web server responds to the HTTP request with an HTTP response containing a redirect status code, like 301 for example, and a location header line, which tells the client where they should resend the request instead. 